Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how I achieved this nail set doing the gel method with dip powder. So if you're interested to see how I got this set, then just keep on watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm going to be doing is just cleaning up my cuticle area and I'm just going to be taking this cuticle eraser or softener and just applying that to my cuticles. I'm now going to be pushing my cuticles back just so that way when I go in to cut them it's easier to tell what should be cut and what doesn't need to be cut. Then taking a paper towel and just wiping off any leftover cuticle eraser and then I am now going to be carefully cutting my cuticles that are dry and just need to be gone so I'm just going to be doing that. So I am going to be taking nail tips as always just because my natural nails aren't as long or to the length that I would like them to be so I'm just going to be taking nail tips so basically what I'm just doing is finding my sizes making sure the nail tip fits sidewall to sidewall and that it's not too small or not too big so I'm just going to be finding my sizes. So this next step is optional depending on if you want your manicure to last about two weeks or just for like a couple days. So I'm going to be applying this UNT peel base just because I do want to pop these right off in a couple days because I do want to do some other nail videos. So that's why I'm going to be applying this. So if you don't want your nails to pop off within a couple days, go ahead and go about regular prepping as far as like removing the shine from your natural nail and also applying a primer to your nails before applying any dip powder. But if you're someone that likes to change your manicures every so often and just doesn't like soaking them in acetone like me because it takes forever, then you should definitely check this out. But, um, so now I'm just going to be taking this little handheld fan to make sure that peel base is dry because if I apply anything and it's not dry, then it just isn't as effective. So I'm just going to be making sure that it's dry before I move on to applying anything else. Now that that peel base is dry, I'm just going to be taking my Kiss nail glue and then just gluing on my nail tips. So now I'm going to be taking these scissors and just cutting the nails down to about a medium length. I am going to be filing them some more so they are going to end up a little bit shorter than this. Since I am going to be doing the gel method, I wanted to keep them more of a shorter length because I feel like the gel method just works best on your natural medium length nails or just medium length nails in general since we can't really build an apex. So now I'm going to be taking these nail clippers and just cutting off from the edge of the nail tip as y'all can see because I am going to be going for that coffin shape again. I think that's probably one of my favorite nail shapes. But yeah, doing this just cuts down on filing time.
So now I'm going to be taking my McCart nail file and just perfecting the shape a little bit more and just running it along the sides of my nails just so that way I can get that coffin shape that I'm going for and then I basically just keep filing until I get it to the shape that I like or I think it looks good. And as always, you don't have to do coffin shape. You can keep them square, you can do almond, you don't even have to use nail tips, but I just recommend keeping your nails about a short or a short medium length just because like I said, it works better with the gel method since we can't really build an apex. So after I have my nails shaped, I'm going to be taking this tiny skinny drill bit and just using it to go under the fake nail because I do get some buildup when filing. So I feel like removing this just makes it look cleaner. So before moving on to the dip powder process, I wanted to share with you all this super cool 2-in-1 dip powder tray that I will be using. So it's great if you want to do French manicures, but if you don't want to, you can always pop the top off to where you have this opening that is going to catch all your dip powder and it's going to be catched into one of these little scoops and then you can also pull the scoop out and recycle and use the powder again or you can always just pour it back into your jar once you're done so this is great if you love to do the pour over method because it really does save and recycle a lot of your dip powder instead of it going everywhere now in order to do the gel method you're going to want a gel base coat which is going to make everything stick kind of like our base and then we're also going to be taking the eye gel beauty dip powder in the shade soft feather so first thing i'm going to be doing is just taking that gel base coat and literally just painting it onto my whole nail and then taking the scoop from my 2-in-1 dip powder tray and just dipping into the powder first and then just sprinkling it over my nail just like this. And like I said, the other tray on the very bottom is going to be catching any excess so therefore none will go to waste. I'm then just sprinkling any excess powder back into the tray and then I'm going to be taking a dotting tool just to make sure that my cuticle area is clean before curing because once you cure it, there's no going back. So then curing that under my UV LED lamp for about 10 seconds. And after that's cured, you can go ahead and dust off any excess powder, but you do not want to do this until after you've cured it because if not, you're just going to move the gel and the powder around. So now I'm going to be going in with the second layer of the gel base coat and just painting it all over my nail once again and sprinkling the powder over my nail just like this. And then taking my dotting tool just to make sure that it is nice and clean in the cuticle area before curing it for 10 seconds. So then it is good to go. And then once again, once it's cured, I can go ahead and dust off the excess. And now I'm gonna be doing my third and final layer of dip powder and also the gel base coat. So once again, just applying a layer of the gel base coat to my whole nail and then sprinkling the dip powder over it. And this time I didn't need to take my dotting tool to clean up the cuticle area, so therefore I didn't do that. I only do it when it's necessary, but then I just dust off the excess powder and then cure it under my lamp for about 10 seconds once again. And then dusting off the excess powder, so now I'm going to be moving on to my other nails, and this time I'm going to be doing it one step at a time on each nail. I also wanted to mention that if you're someone that just doesn't like filing a lot or you have dip flu or you get allergies when using the dip powder liquids, I definitely recommend you try the gel method. Like I said, the only downside is that you can't really build an apex, so therefore I only recommend to do it if you, you're doing it on your natural short, medium length nails. Um, but yeah, other than that, I decided to do the gel method this time just because I didn't really want to spend a lot of time filing. And my set today was a little bit shorter than I normally do, so therefore it worked out pretty well. And a gel top coat because the gel base coat is gonna what's gonna act as your glue, and when you cure it, it's gonna harden, so therefore you don't need a seal protect. And then you also just need a top coat, of course, just to give it that glossy finish, which is why you need the gel top coat. But other than that, you really don't need a lot of things to do dip powder nails with the gel method as you would with the normal process of dip powder. So yeah, I just wanted to mention some good things about it so and why I would recommend it. But now I'm gonna go ahead and just stop talking and let y'all watch the rest of this process and I'll be back once we're done applying all of our layers of color on our nails.
So I finally have all my layers of colors on and now I'm just going to be dusting the powder tray just to get off any excess powder that way it can catch and fall into the little scoop and then I am just going to be scooping all the powder that I caught into my dip powder tray and as y'all can see so much fell but thankfully I was able to reuse it and not just throw it away. So now just like the normal dip powder process, I am going to be taking a clear dip powder and encapsulating that color I did just because I don't want to file away any of the color. So I am just going to be doing one layer of clear and doing this thing, just applying the gel base coat over my nail and then pouring the clear over. And then of course curing that for 10 seconds and then dusting away any excess powder and then just repeating the same steps to my other nails. So now I'm just going to be doing a final cure for both of my hands and I'm going to be doing this for a minute. I just want to make sure that the gel base coat is completely cured and hardened before moving on to anything else. And then just pouring the excess powder that was caught back into my dip powder jar. So like I mentioned, when doing the gel method, it really cuts down on your filing time, but I am going to be perfecting the shape just a little bit because I do feel like you still have to do some filing, but just not as much. So I'm just going to be taking my hand file and just going around my nails just to make sure that I still have that coffin shape that I want. I'm then just going to be taking a buffing block and just running all my nails along it or just buffing out all of my nails just to make sure that they're nice and smooth and that there's no bumps or anything like that. And these actually work really great. I do think they really do help get rid of any bumps and stuff like that. And then lastly, I'm just going to be quickly taking a sanding band on my e-file just around the cuticle area just because I feel like I needed that area to be a little bit more cleaner. So I just like to take my e-file over it just one more time really quickly to make sure once again there's no bumps and that my cuticle area is nice and clean. Now onto my favorite part, I'm going to be taking my Beatles gel top coat and just applying one thin layer of this onto the top of my nails once they're nice and filed. And then I'm going to be curing that under my UV LED lamp for a minute. Just kidding, I lied. I think this might be my favorite part, which is cuticle oil. So I'm gonna be taking this one from the brand Blossom and just applying it to my cuticles so that way they can look nice and moisturized and just shiny and glossy. I don't know, I just love cuticle oil. So I'm just gonna be rubbing that in. And these are the finished nails. I really love the color and how they turned out. But yeah, if y'all have any questions, go ahead and leave them for me in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys!